The Deku Tree is the first dungeon in the game and is essentially a tour dungeon in the game. The D Dagano's Cavern is the second dungeon in the game. The Naleo is a little frustrating, but not to where you want to get up and leave. Jabba Joe's Belly. Oh my god. What can I say about this dungeon? It is so ridiculously difficult that I had to get up and leave. I can't even tell you how many died, how many times I died in there. Good luck with that dungeon. The Forest Temple can pretty much be really, really confusing at least. At times it's pretty easy, but the 3DS version is way harder. The Fire Temple is super easy and fun. The first time I played it and beat it, I'd smack the crap out of the dungeon boss. Bogalvia, is that how you say her name? I don't know. But this thing is a female dragon. The Water Temple, the final frontier and beyond. What? Yes, it is difficult. It is downright frustrating as heck and you just want to throw the controller and just walk out of the room. But it's a good dungeon and that in itself is self-explanatory. The Shadow Temple on the bottom of the well. It is creepy as creepy can get. The music is so eerie and downright unsettling. It's so dark to say the nicest way I can, I guess. How many times am I going to say dark? Let's move on. <sighs> ah, the Spirit Temple. The temple with the coolest music and the theme of all time. It's just plain awesome. Changing back and forth between child and adult link. What more could you ask for? It's so damn cool. Now for Ganon. He is tough. He is very tough. As a 13-year-old girl, it took me several hours of losing and climbing back up to face Ganon's second phase. The third phase was a joke. Don't forget to, to smash that like button and hit the notifications bell so you get notified about all my videos. And follow my Instagram if you like. Thanks and bye.